So let's talk about building blocks with ACF. So what's the difference? The WordPress block API can be static or dynamic, however the ACF blocks is just dynamic. WordPress block API has client side or server side, however ACF blocks is going to be only server side. Let's go ahead and build a contact block and see how that goes, how is that implemented. Okay, step one, as we discussed if you remember from the previous slide that we need to register the block server side. How do we do that? Well, let's just create a custom function and inside of which we call the function called acf underscore register underscore block underscore type and we just have to pass some settings inside of it. Okay, and then you need to hook it on the acf slash init hook. So let's see what do we have in the settings. Well, the first thing is the name of the block. Let's say this is contact card. The title of the block, description, and you also have the path to the render template. So, so just like the dynamic template example that I've shown you in the previous slides, this also uses a PHP template to render, to render the content of the block. And you also have the icon that you can use, so you can use the dash icons. You can also create a new category or assign this block to any existing categories which are there in the editor. And then you can also include your styles for the block which will be applied both in the editor as well as in the front end. Okay, and this is a screen that you might already be familiar with. So all we are doing over here is just creating two fields. One is photo and second is banner and they both are the field type image. And something new that you will find over here will be the location. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, you have location and you have an extra drop down available called block and you can set that equal to the name of the block for which these fields should be available. You can make these fields available for multiple blocks as well by adding another rule group. Okay, so w let's see what is there in this template contact.php. So inside this template we get access to the block and if we go ahead and war dump it, you can see it has got the name of the block prefixed with ACF automatically. You have the title, the description that we just gave in the settings. You've got category, you've got icon, the mode. Uh, so we've said you can set this to preview mode, all of that. And you also have the other information available like the render template. Uh, you've got the NQ style variables, you've got the block ID and you also have those fields available, the photo and the banner as well. So we can utilize all of these values to render the content dynamically into our block template. Okay, so let's do that. So inside of our template which is contact.php uh, we can check to see if the class name exists in the block variable and also add an additional class name called contact card to it. We also get the ID of the block and prefix it with the contact card. So there's something interesting I'm going to tell you now. Something new that came out in the ACF 5.9 is inner blocks. So having the ability to use inner block is extremely powerful because now in the ACF blocks using PHP we can utilize the core blocks as well as our custom blocks when we are developing our own custom blocks. Let's see how that works. So inside of the contact.php we can create a variable called template and pass the names of all of the blocks that we want to be part of as inner blocks. So you can see that you've got core heading. You can specify that which heading level it should render by default, in this case level 6. You can add content, uh, you can set the alignment, an additional class name, uh, you can have paragraph block, button block and social links as well which is part of the core block and then you can also specify what are the blocks that should actually be allowed inside of your custom block so, so that user can only insert these type of blocks so that it, it you can stick to your design. Okay. And then inside of this template, all we have to do is just render this ID dynamically as well as the class name. And then 
when the user goes ahead and adds a photo, uh, it gets added in the meta field, and then we can use get field to get the photo ID, which is image ID, and then use the WP get attachment function to render that image, and same that goes for the banner image as well. Okay, and this is the interesting one, and that's why I've highlighted it. So you can use the inner blocks in the PHP template itself, and inside of the template variable, you can specify what template you're going to use. So if you remember, this is the template that we're going to use, and then you also have the allowed blocks down at the bottom. So this is where we are passing uh, allowed blocks, and we are using the wp.json encode to encode in JSON. And the best part is that we can also lock the template. So if we set the template lock to all, user will not be able to, you know, add or delete more stuff into it. It will just be those blocks. So you can use that template lock feature of the inner block as well. Okay. So if you put down everything together, this is how it looks like. You've got your classes. This is the template we are using. We are getting the image and then we have the inner block. So that's how your block template looks like. Okay. So let's take a look at the demo in the editor. Okay, so this is our editor and let's go for contact block. So contact card, there you go. And now you can see that on the right hand side, we have an option to add the photo as well as the banner. So let's go and add, so let's go ahead and add the photo. I'm gonna, I'm going to add the photo. So you can see it's added here. Let's add the banner. This is the picture I took in Goa. Hope you like it. <laughs> okay, great. I can also add the title and description. And then I can also add get in touch. And we can add a link here as well. Okay, so I've got the social icons here, so I can add that. All right, so I've got all of the three social icons link over here, and all I have to do is just update it. There we go, we can look at the post. Perfect. Isn't this awesome? Congratulations, everyone. We've got a first ACF block and we have not used any JavaScript. Isn't that wonderful? Perfect.